Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a review of the BCM Gunfighter stock assembly, the Mod Zero Stop Mod Stock configuration in black, to be precise. Uh, this video is also going to be followed up uh, in the next video uh, with part two. This with uh, the install of the BCM Gunfighter Grip Mod 3, replacing this grip over here. Uh, full disclosure, I did get both of these products from BCM to review. Uh, we've uh, reviewed, I've reviewed uh, several products for them on the channel before, such as the uh, M-Lock uh, rail covers from BCM, as well as the Ambi uh, charging handle over here, 3x3, as well as the QD uh, end plate, and the M-Lock compatible sling swivel over here. So uh, have been a very big fan of BCM accessories for a long time now. Oh, oh and of course, sorry, forgot to mention, I've been holding this in my hand the entire time. The vertical foregrip from BCM, a very popular video on the channel. Uh, right now it's off the uh, handguard because of bench shooting with a scope and it's on a kinetic development group. Uh, quick disconnect, um, QD, quick disconnect uh, M-Lock to Piccadilly adapter. That way when I'm bench shooting, can take it off. When I'm done, click it right back in. So very uh, nice, uh, cool, uh, nifty product uh, for that. So. So this isn't a brand comparison at all. It's uh, I just like tinkering around with gear and BCM has been really cool about um, having accessories and kind of letting me uh, get a chance to test them out and uh, see what I like them with, about them overall and sharing them with uh, YouTube. So a uh, really cool uh, opportunity for that and I'm very honored uh, to uh, kind of give my thoughts, whatever they're worth. Uh, but you should know that all BCM products are obviously, they don't need my endorsement. They're done with feedback and input from more fighters, from guys on the ground in the field actually using this stuff. Um, they make hard duty use uh, rifles, uh, duty grade rifles, accessories that are well known in the industry along with Magpul um, to, you know, go in some of the toughest places and uh, last and perform. So uh, with that said, let's go straight into the stock itself. This is the packaging at Cayman. I know everybody likes unboxing and installs. I think due to YouTube rules, I can't really show the install here, but I'll go over it uh, so you guys get an idea of how it comes together. Typical BCM packaging, very nice. Everything is, by the way, made in the USA, impact-resistant polymer, so uh, good on them for that. Um, not worry about durability at all. Um, let's go into the features. So we'll talk about some of these features. The install over here is you're gonna be basically pulling down this tab, sliding it on, I believe pulling it down a little more and sliding it on, but I'm gonna hold it like this, that way you can pause the video and take a look if you have a stock like this at home. Okay, so we'll start from giving some dimensions. The stock height is five inches high and it's six and a half inches long. And then this portion is around two and a half inches, slopes around to three, and then goes all the way to the five inches. And this is great because some other stocks have a very high uh, stock height. Uh, this has five inches, which is a very nice size. You can get a good connection to your shoulder as well as the rubber pad here helps in keeping it pressed against your shoulder, against the fabric and clothing and not a uh, kind of uh, falling out uh, during rapid fire or anything like that, or it springs of fire, it drills. Uh, it stays tight and nice uh, against the shoulder uh, very much and not moving around. And the slope design as well is also very uh, ergonomic for getting that uh, gun up from a low ready quickly and having it against your body. It also interfaces very well with kit because of how short it is. Um, chest rig, uh, plate carrier, etc. very well uh, done. Uh, with, uh, you can tell that professionals gave input with, uh, to this product development said, hey, this is a good height for us uh, where it's not going to snag on stuff and it's also going to keep and uh, give us a good and uh, consistent connection uh, to our body. The spring itself over here is tight um, and it won't accident activate accidentally. I know some people, maybe they're worried that because the spring is exposed that somehow it could get actuated. I've never felt the, uh, the spring get actuated and even if it would get actuated, you still have to physically move the stock to uh, change your adjustments. Um, I do have a small piece of tape in here just to take up the tiny bit of slack. I'm very OCD about any little bit of slack in the buffer tube. Uh, right now there's no slack at all. There's no wobble, no play at all. Uh, even out of the box, there was none. Uh, but for me, I don't want like any play at all. I, I don't want to be able to physically move the stock and see if there's any play and make sure that there's none. So that's why I have a piece of tape in here. And it also adds to the, uh, makes it a little bit harder for the stock to get actuated accidentally. Uh, but again, I've never had it um, activate accidentally. The spring is very taut and very stiff to press. Um, I'm not able, able to, pr I'm pressing it right now as hard as I can. Um, and I'm trying by accident to like see if it would 
disengage and it's not. So uh, it's a very deliberate, your thumb is alone is not gonna be able to do it. You need all four fingers uh, with your right hand or your, your dominant hand to actually press this down and adjust it, which is good uh, to make sure it doesn't accidentally uh, disengage. So to be, to be uh, honest, it did take a little bit of finagling to finally get the stock on. A few YouTube videos later, however, and it's been on securely ever since uh, with no issues uh, at all. So I uh, just uh, recommend you take your time with it and read through the directions of the packaging and watch some videos and you should be off and uh, running. The uh, stock itself is compatible with all mil-spec buffer tubes. This is the sock mod version, which means it has a slightly wider cheek rest uh, body uh, on both sides. It's about a centimeter, maybe a little bit less on each protruding from each side. It's very nicely done. It's contoured. It's, you have a cheek uh, weld in the right places. Uh, you have your cheek rest and body right in the, in the right places for you to get a good, consistent and comfortable cheek weld, uh, which is also very nice uh, with uh, scopes. That way you are centered uh, behind your scope and you have a consistent spot uh, to place your cheek each time and very comfortable uh, as well uh, for bench shooting. Uh, once you actually use the wider uh, body of the, uh, the Sogmod's wider body, you really can't go back, in my opinion, to the uh, slimmer stocks. I mean, those also have a time and place. Uh, some of the people might find them comfortably comfortable, uh, but depending on your face structure, uh, you might find this actually even more comfortable and you might not want to go back. So uh, for me personally, I do really enjoy this, especially when paired with a scope. And I would recommend uh, to anyone now after having having had tried this, I do recommend this kind of stock um, with a scope or bench or prone shooting, anything like that. Uh, highly recommended. And especially because it doesn't protrude that much, uh, this is not going to be obnoxious uh, to put in a bag or anything like that. Um, there are some stocks that really go way out there with the uh, cheek rest, uh, but this is actually very nicely done in contour. It's low profile, but it definitely uh, makes a difference. Uh, it is, uh, like we said, impact resistant polymer uh, made in America and it's extremely lightweight and uh, compact. Uh, there's not much moving parts. It's a really simple uh, operation. It's a snagless design. There's really nothing that uh, can get caught on kit. And I do like that. And it shows that they've made this uh, with input from people uh, who have been using this stuff professionally and they specifically desire something that will be low profile, nothing that's going to get snagged or caught. Um, yeah, so the uh, when you do a, you can also, in terms of actuating it, it's going to be going to be pressing down this, and there's a nice taut and stiff spring, and we're actually going to rotate this 180, so I can show you guys how it actuates, and you actuate it like this, and it clicks into place, and... When you close it all the way, there's actually, um, it actually takes up pretty much most of the gap on the buffer tube and it reduces the uh, bulky footprint if you decide, if you so desire to have it totally collapsed uh, for use in a bag or uh, case, etc. Very easy to do. And also, uh, however, I believe it would impede, you know, let's test that out right now. Yep, it would impede the uh, QD sling swivel. Bear with me, we're gonna test it out right now. So actually, you could uh, you could keep uh, your sling swivel in here and it would not impede it. So uh, that's actually really nice to see that the end plate and the QD is compatible with the, uh, with the uh, stock if you so desire to run uh, your gun uh, in this way. Another thing that BCM incorporated is this tab over here. It's very unique to the BCM stock look. This is the vehicle born operation sling tab. And if you've seen Travis Haley talk about it, it's designed to keep a ranger band, like as such, uh, in place, in position to secure a sling uh, to your rifle. Uh, this is a potentially life-saving uh, measure uh, if you're working in and around vehicles and people who have uh, had run into this issue in the past, though this is a lesson learned in blood, um, said, hey, we need a way to, we would like a way to uh, secure a sling to our stock. Uh, that way we're not uh, getting tangled up in it. and." Uh, losing time and putting ourselves in a very uh, dangerous uh, situation. So it's pretty cool that BCM, uh, any stock that, any BCM stock now that you pick up has this uh, tab built into it. And that's a potential life-saving measure that they've incorporated into their products. And it's a life-saving piece of equipment over here. So that's pretty cool that uh, anyone who picks this up now has access to that uh, lesson that uh, other guys uh, had to pay for and are passing it forward uh, to us. So that's very humbling and uh, cool of uh, BCM and of the guys who worked uh, on this kind of concept. I prefer personally to stow my sling a different way, but it's very nice uh, um, to have this kind of feature available. In terms of the sling mounting, you have two sling, uh, sling mounts over here, one and two, 
and there's both uh, metal lines in here, so it's very sturdy and rigid uh, platform for your sling to click into. Um, one thing that due to the design of this particular stock, as opposed to the other uh, BCM gunfighter stocks, the QD swivels can't really rotate here, and I'll demonstrate that right now. Let's see if we can get this out. We will extend the stock and pull this out. So, uh, all right, when you click in this here, you notice that the swivel can't really rotate uh, due to the design of the, really it should be, it's freely rotating, but due to the molding over here, the sling swivel does not rotate, uh, which is fine. Uh, it's easily worked around because I connected my slings to a paracord and the paracord is retained in this tri-glide over here and the, tri the paracord itself is looped around the sling swivel and I pretty much have all the functionality of a traditional sling swivel that rotates in all directions. So uh, easily worked, easily fixed, easily worked around. Uh, don't get don't get really uh, too hung up on that. Uh, there also is a way to, there's a little slot over here. That way, you guys can see that. That way you can uh, loop uh, webbing through there as well or paracord uh, should you desire.